Hey guys, <coughs> it's Jesus Herman Jason. Sorry if I'm gonna sound a little rough through this video, is because I'm going through a flu that's been going around my school for quite some time now. I was thinking, hey, everybody's gotten it, but I haven't, so I'm not gonna get it. I woke up this morning to find out I got it. So, what I'm here for another thing, another layout update. Sorry, somebody texted. Somebody texted me. Probably my uh, CS worker. But um, I'm here for another layout date. I gotta show a couple things. I got a package in the mail the other day. When I got home, hold on a second. I gotta cut out this advertisement. There we go. I got a message in the mail. And, to be honest, I've never seen something like this in the flesh. I've never seen it in person. I've always seen it in pictures or on somebody else's layout. But, now I managed to put my little hands on one. Here it is. That's right. Snowplow. <laughs> I've never seen one of these in the flesh. I've never have... And by the way, I, I added that coupler there so I can pull it in both directions from that way or that way or put it, or pretty much put it in the middle of a train if I wanted to. Yeah. I uh, added the, I found that other horn and I put it on the GXR GP38. Took the horn off that, put it on the SD45, which is right there. I'm guess I don't know if you guys noticed, the horn that was on the C424 is sitting right there. Why? Well. Her time on the GXR is up. She is done. It took me a couple, about a half hour to strip it down. Take out certain parts in here. Uh, it took me a while to get this part out because that's what held the motor in in here Also holding this metal this metal piece right here Put it in the light there right there. It's like a magnet of some sort And that piece there has magnets on it But yeah trucks are assembled Off the long hood is off the cab. I didn't want to take the cab off I'm still determining if I still want to take it off and put it on the bulkhead with the long hood or just leave it and yeah there's the trucks but I don't think that this move would be prototype with that on it because that's where the gear mechanisms held I'm thinking about maybe Aching and ejector blade, slicing that off. And, yeah, I don't know yet. I uh, I got got a new uh, truck. There's the truck of it. There's the trailer sitting up there. And those green cars is stared there purposely. That's where the snow plow will be stored. I'm thinking about maybe extending on here with this track here, but there's a problem with this one right here look at this it snapped free of its ties so that <laughs> is kind of a major problem also I got bored the one day and I took some of my uh, <coughs> trucks my pickup trucks and uh, redid them I got four of them here, starting with this little Chevy. This truck here, I put stack through the hood. I got I get bored really easily around here. Sometimes running trains just doesn't cut it. The next truck is this truck. It's my this was the uh, first Dodge of the fleet. As you can see, it's got the CB here truck flaps and under it dual exhaust yeah. there's that truck 
My the newest Dodge of the layout has truck stacks in the bed. But there's the exhaust pipe there. It doesn't look visible somewhat doesn't look visible from here. So yeah. And truck stacks are a little uneven. And the last pickup truck, I've had this truck for about four years now. There's the CB radio, which was on that one. I cut it off to give it to there. It's got the box cover, new paint, turn signals, and dual exhaust. Where I live, we are known we are known for rednecks in my area. We have major rednecks with lifted pickups, stacks, dual exhaust, loud exhaust. We're known for it all. And uh, another addition is here. All of these wrecked cars, except for that truck. <laughs> this was the first wrecked car I made on the layout. It was originally, the hood was bent in like, like, instead of it being curved in, it was like, like that, and the bumper was kind of hanging on an angle, because it would look like it drove in the back of somebody's truck, but then I flattened that side out, crushed that end up a little more, and now it looks like it hit somebody from an angle, because it would have slammed on its brakes, came in, and bang! <laughs> Next edition is kind of like the same way, except the whole front end bent along with it, so. Next one is a uh, T-boned SUV. One of my uh, transport trucks. Actually, there is a, a record that I have that actually fit that bend. This one is the same occurrence. This one's got a little bit of a destruction to that side, because it would... Yeah. This one has its back end destroyed. So, yeah. That's pretty much it for all that. All this. And a new box car added. This is an Athern. Ready to roll box car BNSF. I don't even know why I bought it. Because my layout is like overrun with box cars. It is ridiculous. Because I got. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I got nine box cars in this layout. <laughs> it's overrun with box cars. So, yeah. Other than that, nothing else has really changed other than the new locomotive. That's pretty much it. All that I show you is pretty much a new change. So, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys, and keep on watching for my next video. So, see ya.